This shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone, but we have all got to do something about powered haulage accidents. There were 16 powered haulage fatalities last year at American mining operations and three already this year in 2022. For any mining operation, having a rock solid safety policy in place is both integral and obvious. Training miners to constantly be aware and to stay vigilant every single day on the job are two points that have to be reinforced repeatedly. That's just how it is, because it only takes a second for something to possibly go wrong. When we refer to powered haulage, we're talking about the many types of equipment used to transport both people and materials at surface and underground mines. These include haul trucks, front end loaders, and belt conveyors. Also forklifts, man trips, mobile cranes, vertical personnel lifts, belt feeders, cherry pickers, long wall conveyors, and service trucks. Anything that gets you and your mining materials from here to there is a powered haulage machine. Now, advances in safety technology are being made all the time. That's a good thing as long as mining operations are putting those advancements into action. Proximity detection is something that one core safety certified company has been doing for the last couple of years. Peabody had already realized the need early on, but when the company experienced a couple of serious powered haulage incidents of its own, they made proximity detection a number one priority. Donald C. Kincannon is Peabody's maintenance manager at Gateway North Mine in Randolph County, Illinois. He's been with the company nearly 18 years, and he's going to tell us all about their proximity detection program right now. They call them accidents for a reason. People don't try to get hurt on purpose. Anything can happen. You're better off to be prepared to try to avoid it rather than try to do something about it after the fact. Since January 13th, 2015, the Mine Safety and Health Administration, MSHA, has required all operators of underground coal mines to equip continuous mining machines with proximity detection systems. But since then, more companies, including Peabody, have also been installing proximity systems on some mobile haulage equipment, including battery haulage vehicles and scoops. Proximity detection systems are potentially life-saving technologies that can stop a moving machine when it detects a person or object in the machine's path. It will also send a signal to a machine operator and a pedestrian to warn when that person is getting a little too close to a danger zone. Peabody currently uses them on battery haulage at the Gateway North Mine in Illinois and Francisco Mine in Indiana. We call them ram cars, battery haulage. It'll more or less haul between 10 and 18 tons, except it doesn't dump, the bed doesn't dump up like a dump truck does. It's actually got an ejector blade and it just pushes it out the end. On the haulage, there's four components we call drivers and they put out a magnetic signal. The miners wear a device. It's a small device that you carry on your body. It's supposed to be above your waist on the front of your body. Well, that thing picks up the magnetic signals we have different zones. We have what would be a warning zone and what would be a danger zone. If you break that warning zone, it slows the piece of equipment down drastically. Mm. Now, of course, one if you get right into that danger zone, it shuts the piece of equipment down. I mean, it stops it in its tracks immediately. But the other neat thing about this system was it actually changes so if that piece of equipment's going real slow, them zones change and they get smaller because of course it can stop a lot quicker when it's not going fast. But as that equipment gains speed and goes faster, them zones get much longer to make sure it can adequ 
subsequently stop before it contacts someone. We have all the policies to keep any of these accidents from happening, but it's human nature to take shortcuts and, or just make mistakes, not paying attention. So if you're probably within 10 feet of that machine while it is moving, you're either gonna slow it down and once you get to about six feet, it's gonna stop it at a slow speed. Now, if that thing's going full speed, it could be 20 feet away that it's gonna start slowing that machine away down and it may stop 10 feet in front of you if it's going full speed. At this time, there are three proximity detection systems that MSHA has approved for use in underground coal mines that meet the permissibility requirements in Part 18 of the Code of Federal Regulations. MSHA approval indicates that MSHA has determined that the system is not a spark or thermal ignition hazard in a potentially explosive atmosphere. But one of the biggest dangers in mining these days is still the human factor. And that's where safety training really comes into play. There's a lot of inexperienced people. A lot of the old timers have retired. And for that side of it, the system makes it a lot safer up there because we don't have the experience of these guys knowing, you know, and this kind of takes some of the guesswork out of it and make sure that inexperienced people don't make mistakes and accidentally hurt someone. You have to do a 40 hour class and then we go in to do these tests and everything on this equipment. You have to be trained to run the equipment and you are trained on all of that in order for you to be able to run the equipment. The biggest thing that scares, I think anyone in this company is accidents. And if there's something we can spend a little money on or even a lot of money, Peabody has never had any problem doing that. And I'll say this, that we have putting all this proximity detection, the stuff we put it on, it is very expensive. That is, it doesn't compare to major incident of someone not ever being able to work again, or even a fatality. If you'd like to learn more about what Peabody is doing with proximity detection, and other safety measures, you can reach out to Matt Peterson Howard. Matt is the Vice President of Health, Safety, Environment, and Security at Peabody. He can be reached at the email address that you see here on the screen. Up next, it's time to take a look at Core Safety's Module Number 4, Fatality Prevention and Risk Management. It's all about using a comprehensive method to identify hazards and eliminate risks or at least minimizing negative outcomes to an acceptable level. The number of fatalities in mining operations can be lessened or even prevented by paying close attention to risk management. Risk management is the process of identifying safety and health hazards, evaluating the associated risks and consequences, and developing controls to eliminate or minimize negative outcomes to an acceptable level. Core safety is a systematic approach to risk management that calls for reviewing all safety and health hazards, assessing and prioritizing risk, applying controls systematically, and verifying that controls remain effective over time. Consider these two classes of work activities when defining work for high-risk procedures. High-frequency, low-severity, low-consequence work, or low-frequency, high-severity work. It's important to remember that serious accidents and even fatalities can happen in both of those types of jobs. Risk management starts with operation planning. It is conducted on an ongoing basis and is carried through to closure. Risk assessment can involve technical staff managers and workers with appropriate knowledge and experience. The three categories of risk assessment procedures are personal and pre-task, systematic job and task, and formal process and equipment. Acceptable risk should be defined by management. However, risk-based decisions can and should be made by workers when they have the knowledge, training, and experience. 
The goal is always to eliminate the risk or reduce it to the lowest practical level. To learn more about module number four, just visit our website at coresafety.org. And next month, we'll see a summary of module number five, training and competence. So that's all for now. Please remember that anytime you're online, be sure to follow our post on Facebook and Twitter. For Core Safety and the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. I'll see you back here again next month with a new safety story. Until then, please be safe out there and thanks for watching. Special thanks this month to Peabody, to Matt Peterson Howard, and to Donald C. Kincannon for his interview on proximity detection. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.